Okay, so here's the way I do the setup. Um, so first of all, during the day, you want to already get to this fence and optimally, um, let me bring this up. So you can do a twisted deco backflip here um, without culling the grass. If you do a gainer, you will guaranteed cull the grass. And if you cull the grass during the day already, then it's run over. But yeah, with this twisted backflip, you can already get to the sign um, during the day. And then if you never cull the grass in the first place, you can just cut uh, cu uh, cut the sign, then cull the grass afterwards. So you can do, go into this corner and aim. Now the grass is gone and then respawn it. And now the grass is in the right place in memory. So this is what I think is probably the optimal strat. So um, you can look at my watch that says health actor. If I charge a deco bubble now, uh, this is the right ad address where the bubble is supposed to go. So you can check in practice if you got it right. But anyway, so now we go to the bomber kit. Yeah, doing this uh, backflip here with releasing target is probably the best way to get over there. Okay, so um, what you can do to manipulate the bomber to not bounce against the wall like, yeah, sometimes he does that. Um, if I just go straight to the bomber, it's a little bit hard to control and sometimes um, just bounces against the wall. Okay, now I cannot get it. But a way to prevent getting him uh, bouncing against the wall is if you walk like this slowly, you will not bounce against the wall usually. So walk slowly. And yeah, I actually want him to get more in this uh, direction. So just walk slowly and don't face him directly. So this is fine. All right, so um, if you look at uh, the bottom left corner, the uh, bottom, bottom right corner, that's the uh, coordinates of the bomber kit. Um, there's um, actually a lot of leniency when it comes to the setup. So um, if I do a side hop now, so this should be still fine. If you if you are very far to the left, like I was, and need to cro uh, cross a lot of distance, you can do side hop like that. And now, okay, in uh, the, the Z position of the bomber, it says 17, uh, minus 17, 28. That is pretty average, I would say. If I go back to here, um, if you, you are not so far left, then uh, usually I just do this walking. Let's see what uh, this is now. Okay, I, I got pretty much the same uh, Z position again. Um, but yeah, uh, it tends to vary from minus 1724 up to minus 17. 31 or something like that. I've gotten it with all those Z positions before. So it, it is probably very lenient, at least as far as I can tell right now. So yeah, um, I'm doing this texture setup here. This is not a hundred percent consistent, but uh, consistent enough for any percent, I would say. If you don't do texture setup, but longer setup, like I did in my uh, my other video, that would be very slow. Okay, so this spot on the wall and go and aim for doing a backflip. So with aim, you can just keep holding down. So here we do ESS left and turn. This will adjust the angle a little bit, do two deco spins. And uh, yeah, use some ESS counterclockwise. Then three scoots forward. And this is our position. Okay, now um, for charging the deco bubbles um, for the kit and uh, the balloon, there is either some RNG or you can sacrifice some time to make it a little bit more consistent. So first of all, when it comes to the balloon, um, the balloon is on a cycle and the way I do the setup, you can get unlucky with a uh, bubble RNG and yeah, if you get unlucky with the bubble RNG and the balloon is floating upwards, then that's rip. But you can make it more consistent if you 
starts everything when the balloon is like here. So when it's about up. Um, then I turn around and start targeting here and now start charging Deco Bubble for the Bomber Kit. And with the Bomber Kit it's quite the same story. Well, not quite. But yeah, you can just release Bubble here and it will usually hit the kit or you can aim one frame up and this will make it more consistent that the kit is hit by the bubble. So let's just aim up for a frame in this example. Okay, now uh, when you release bubble you want to target for that one, one frame or else you will go in first person mode, you, you don't want that. Okay, well, once you release the bubble you can start holding down to turn around. So after two frames you turn around. Then you need to advance one more frame. On this frame you cannot input the B input yet. So you need this frame and now we can start charging um, this bubble here. Now for this bubble, um, my visual cue is just the size of the bubble. Um, this is the frame we want. And then we aim up for five frames. And on this frame we release the bubble. Then hold left for two frames. On the first frame the bubble is actually invisible and then second frame it's there again. So now we want to cancel targeting, so press A for one frame. Then for one frame hold right to turn. And for one frame only input Z to target. But uh, keep, keep targeting here. Now we start the side hop. Um, and because this is Majora's Mask and we just started targeting for this side up, we actually need to hold down. So hold down and A, start the side up, and then release control stick again. So this is just a one frame tap side up. Okay, then advance five more frames up to here. And now we start charging the bubble and walk right. So hold right and B. Uh, for 8 frames total, but I'm gonna advance 7 frames for my visual cue. So this is the 7th frame and it's pitch black and it, it is always uh, this pitch black. But the 8th the frame, okay, now I got this uh, where it's just uh, nothing. So the camera is somewhere inside the, the tree, so you uh, the, the tree is just gone. Um, but sometimes, depending on your initial position, since this is just a texture setup, it's not 100% consistent. Sometimes you, yes, can can also see the tree, or uh, yes, the camera is somewhere in the tree. So, the seventh frame visual cue when it's pitch black is consistent, but this one is not. So I, I would um, look out for the the pitch black frame. So um, now on this frame we start holding down to aim up for seven frames and then control stick up to aim down for one frame okay and now we start side hop hold right and a for one frame and then you actually release target and this will result in a twisted side hop so yeah, uh, just keep holding right and B. And then you can unpause and just let the game do its th uh, thing. Okay, and once the text box, and uh, now once the deck bubble expired, you can, can uh, press the text box. All right, if you have not, during all your pause buffering, put your cursor on nuts or somewhere else in the menu, you should do this now. You have time to pause uh, to get your cursor in the menu on this page for as long as the smoke is still there. This is about 3.5 seconds you still have after the balloon exploded. So if you forgot, you still have 3.5 seconds. So it's it's not a biggie. So after the smoke expired, then you should have the glitch, okay. And then, um, yeah, scroll up 12 times. So I got one, two, three, four. So, um, depending on where you put your items in the file name, you get them in different uh, parts of the memory. So, when I, I scrolled up 12 times, uh, so this here will be your third character of your file name. And capital F was hookshot. Um, the, what was it, the um, low case P is Goron mask, 
low case R as PS duty mask. So these here would be character three, four, and five. Uh, and then, yeah, this is six, seven, and eight. And I recommend always using the sixth character and then either fourth and fifth or um, yeah, seventh and eighth for your uh, items because that would minimize uh, cursor movement. So this is, yeah, always, always use the sixth letter. And then either if you want to scroll left, so this is fifth character, fourth character. But I prefer this side, so I just put the very uh, last three letters as my items. And yeah, you can also um, change the, the order of your items by just changing the order of the letters. Uh, and also interesting, if I scroll up one more time, so this is, would be 13 times, these two here are the first two characters of your file name. So if you wanted to, you could probably also put items here. Um, I guess it would not be more cursor movement of like, yeah, so let, let's say sixth character, seventh character, and then you scroll up once to the first character. You could also do that, and it would still be the same uh, amount of cursor movement.